Hello students, welcome back to my channel School Success. Today we'll continue with the part 2 of chapter 1, The Most Beautiful Thing. In this video, I'll cover the back exercises and question answers of this chapter. Right, so let's get started. So in the part A, tick the correct option to complete each sentence. So first is Ramchand's father was a A part floor shop owner, B part grocer, C part baker. And the correct answer is B part grocer. Second question is Ramchand's family used the two corners of the small living room as the A part kitchen and the bathroom, B part storeroom and the dining room, C part shop and the garage. And the correct answer to this is a part kitchen and the bathroom third question is the fuel ramchand's mother would use in the stove was a petrol b diesel c kerosene and the correct answer is kerosene c part fourth is when ramchand's mother realized that it was difficult to make whiskers for chuhu she came up with an excuse to keep ramchand a Away from the stove, B, close to her, C, M, used. And the correct answer is A, away from the stove. Fifth, Ramchand's father gave him a A, sugar-coated biscuit, B, toffee, C, bar of chocolate. And the correct answer is A, sugar-coated biscuit. Now continuing with the B part, answer these questions. So we'll be doing the question and answers of the chapter. The most beautiful thing now. So the first question is, why had Ramchand's family curtained off one corner of their room? <clears throat> the answer is, Ramchand's family had curtained off one corner of their room to create a separate space that served as a bathroom. In that corner, there was a small drain and a plastic bucket and mug for their washing needs. The curtain provided a modest level of privacy for this area within their small living space. Second question is, what would Ramchand's mother often make for him with dough? The answer is, Ramchand's mother often made animals for him with dough. She would skillfully shape the dough using her fingers, creating figures like sparrows, rabbits and mice. She would give them specific features and characteristics such as sharp beaks for sparrows, bobtails for rabbits and stories to go along with each creation. These dough animals were a source of joy and fascination for Ramchand and his mother's skill in making them brought them to life in his imagination. Third question is, who was Chuhu? Why did Ramchand's mother tell him the story of Chuhu? And the answer is, Chuhu was a mouse created by Ramchand's mother using dough. Ramchand's mother told him the story of Chuhu to entertain him and give personality to the dough mouse. In the story, Chuhu was a girl mouse who had a nice tail, eyes and mouth but no whiskers. Ramchand, being curious, asked why Chuhu had no whiskers. His mother explained that Chuhu's mother had warned her not to go near the kerosene stove but she disobeyed and her whiskers got signed as a result. Ramchand found the story intriguing and it added depth to his experience with the dough creations his mother made. Next question, why did Ramchand's father call out to his wife? Ramchand's father called out to his wife because he needed her help to look for a misplaced tin of black pepper. Question number 5. In what state did Ramchand's mother find him when she came back to the room? 
When Ramchand's mother came back to the room, she found him crying. He was in a state of genuine sorrow with tears streaming down his face. Question number six. How did Ramchand's parents comfort him? The answer is, Ramchand's parents comforted him by showing genuine concern and affection. His mother immediately rushed to him, scooped, her, scooped him up in her arms and hugged him tightly. She examined him to ensure he hadn't physically hurt himself and gently stroked his head. Ramchand's father, upon seeing his son's tear-stained face, also expressed surprise and concern. They both provided emotional support and reassurance to Ramchand, creating a comforting environment for him. The simple act of their presence and understanding helped console and elevate his distress. Now let's move on to the C part. Read these sentences from the story and answer the questions that follow. Now the lines are, Then, seeing him look like a little mutinous, for he always liked to be as close to his mother as possible, she pulled out a lump of dough from the vessel she had been kneading in it. The question is, why did Ramchand's mother pull out a lump of dough from the vessel? The answer is, Ramchand's mother pulled out a lump of dough from the vessel because she noticed that Ramchand looked a little mutinous or rebellious as he always liked to be as close to his mother as possible. She pulled out the dough to divert his attention and engage him in a creative activity, hoping it would help him occupied and satisfied. Second question is, what did she ask Ramchand to do with the lump of dough? And the answer is, Ramchand's mother asked him to make something really nice with the lump of dough. She specifically instructed him to create the most beautiful thing in the world using the dough. Ramchand could not do what his mother asked him to and started crying. Next is, was his mother wise in reacting the way she did? Why do you think so? Yes, Ramchand's mother was wise in reacting the way she did. Instead of dismissing or laughing at his inability to create the most beautiful thing, she responded with compassion and understanding. She held him gently, reassured him, and tried to comprehend the reason behind his tears. By showing empathy and validating his emotions, she created a safe and supportive space for him to express his confusion and frustration. This approach helped to comfort Ramchand and fostered a deeper connectivity between them. It also demonstrated her sensitivity as a parent and her understanding of the importance of acknowledging and addressing her child's emotions. Next is, use the word mutinous in a sentence of your own. So the sentence is, the students grew mutinous when they learned about the sudden increase in homework assignments. So another uh, lines from the chapter as second question are, the silence of his mother. The simple truth in his father's voice. These were things Ramchand never forgot. There was perfect peace in the room after that moment. What simple truth is referred to here? And the answer is, the simple truth referred to here is the admission by Ramchand's father that he also didn't know what constituted the most beautiful thing in the world. 
Why was Ramchand's mother silent? Ramchand's mother was silent because she understood the depth of her son's confusion and sorrow. She recognized the significance of his question and the genuine emotions he was experiencing. Her silence allowed space for Ramchand to express himself and for his father to respond honestly, creating an atmosphere of understanding and peace in the room. Write two adjectives to describe the behavior of Ramchand's parents as they comforted him. And the two objectives are loving and supportive. Fourth question is, why do you think this incident left a lasting impression on Ramchand? Answer is, this incident left a lasting impression on Ramchand because it was a moment of vulnerability and understanding within his family. He experienced genuine empathy and comfort from his parents when he was feeling lost and confused. Their non-judgmental response and their admission of not knowing the answer to his question made him feel validated and loved. This incident showed Ramchand the depth of his parents' care and strengthened the bond between them. It taught him the value of compassion, emotional connection, and the importance of being there for one another, which stayed with him throughout his life. So now let's do the part D, think and answer. The question is, why do you think Ramchand's mother told her husband the truth when he found both her and Ramchand teary-eyed? And the answer is, Ramchand's mother told her husband the truth when he found both her and Ramchand teary-eyed because she valued honesty and wanted her son to cultivate the same virtue. By being open about their emotions, she demonstrated to Ramchand the importance of being truthful and expressing one's feelings. She had faith in her husband's ability to react sensibly to the situation, trusting that he would understand and support them. By sharing the truth, she created a space for emotional vulnerability within their family, fostering a sense of trust and openness. It was a way for her to reinforce the values of honesty and emotional authenticity within their household. That is all for part two of this video, students. I hope you liked the answer and you got a thorough uh, knowledge of how to write or frame the answers for the questions asked. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. And for the next part, part three of this chapter, we'll be talking about the remaining exercises at the back of the chapter, the vocabulary punctuation a paragraph is given we'll try to punctuate it and after that we'll write a story in 200 to 250 words about a family that faces and overcomes a difficult situation so till then goodbye and see you in the next video thank you so much